Dímelo, 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 Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, my name is Diana. Today's video is going to be about my skincare routine. Skincare is very important. If you have a nice space to work with, all of the makeup is going to lay on beautifully. The way this video is going to go, I'm going to show you my daytime skincare routine, my nighttime skincare routine, and I'm going to talk to you guys about my favorite products. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Subscribe. It really helps me out. It really does. Thank you. Now, let's do this. My skin type is predominantly oily. I am someone who suffers from acne from a very early age, also from texture issues, blackheads, very blemish prone skin. When I was a kid, my mom took me to see so many dermatologists, estheticians, and that's my very first piece of advice for you guys. Please, you guys, please go see a professional. I promise you that it's gonna be beneficial. Go to an esthetician, go to a dermatologist, go to somebody that knows what they're talking about. That being said, it's important that I tell you that all of these products that I'm gonna show you are products that have worked for my skin. This is not to say that they will work for you. So always, always do a patch test. A patch test is when you apply a little bit to the back of your hands or to right here on your jawline just to see how your skin will react to the product because you don't know if you're going to be allergic to that or if it's going to cause any reaction. So my first step, either if I'm wearing makeup or if I'm not wearing makeup, I double cleanse. Sometimes I even do it three times. Depending on how much makeup I'm wearing, I always, always make sure that it is completely off of my skin. To remove my makeup, I like to use the Midnight Recovery Botanical Cleansing Oil by Kiehl's. I love this. I love this. I love this. This oil is my favorite because it literally breaks down all of the makeup. You can have 65 layers of foundation and this is going to take it off for you. It smells so good. Botanical, like flowers. And I use this oil even when I'm not wearing makeup, just to double cleanse, make sure that I'm getting really deep into my pores. Honestly, you guys, I feel like this helps my skin. Every time I use it, whether it's to take off my makeup or to double cleanse, the next morning when I wake up, my skin is good. It's clear. It's smooth. This fixes all of my problems. It's the best. I love it. You need it. Another makeup remover that I really love is the Green Clean Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm by Pharmacy. I'll put some of that on my face, kind of just like move it around to really like get in there and remove all of my makeup. This is a microfiber cloth. I got this for Christmas from my best friend. It's nice and big. So what you do is you wet this and you remove your makeup. So after removing my makeup, I'll go in with cleanser. My favorite facial cleanser is Murad Acne Control Clarifying Cleanser. It does have enough acne treatment in it, like salicylic acid in it to really help me with my breakouts. And also it has a little bit of menthol in it, which makes it like feel really nice and cooling. When I have my cleanser on my face, I keep it on my face for 60 seconds. I know there's like a new thing that like some esthetician or some doctor lady said that like, like she came up with a something and like don't even believe that because it's not true. I've been doing this for years. If you just like scrub your face for a little bit, wash it off, you're not giving the ingredients a chance to do their job. I've been using this for years now and I swear by it. So if you have acne prone or oily skin, this your friend. Next very important step is toner. The toner that I'm loving for nighttime right now is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. I got it because it has glycolic acid. Glycolic acid is what is known as a chemical exfoliator. I saw this on the Sephora website and as soon as I saw glycolic acid I was like I need that. I love chemical exfoliators. I prefer a chemical exfoliator to a physical one. A harsh like seeds or beads or anything Thing that they put that can create micro cuts in your skin which then can create scars or acne so this is going to take away a, that layer of dead skin impurities left behind by your cleanser anything that is still lurking on your skin the reason that I like to use it at nighttime is because it's quite strong 
So when I use it at nighttime, I feel like my skin gets time to replenish itself. This toner has really helped me a lot, you guys, with my acne. It's really affordable too. Like I think it only costs like ten dollars. Yes, give me that. So after I've cleansed. I go in with serums. So many different serums out there with different ingredients, different benefits, so just make sure that you find one that fits your concerns and incorporate it into your skincare routine and I promise you, you won't be disappointed. The serum that I've been using is also by The Ordinary. It's the Salicylic Acid 2% Solution. Salicylic acid is another chemical exfoliator. What it does, it just breaks down that first layer of your skin, gets into your pore and really cleans it out. Right when you start rubbing it in, it does emulsify a little bit, but as soon as you finish rubbing it in and patting it in, it disappears and applying it at night, like letting it seep into my skin, has helped me with my acne. I'm in love. Another serum that I'm loving by The Ordinary is called the Niacinamide 10%. This one was recommended in conjunction with the salicylic um, acid serum and I really love this one. This one I love to use during the daytime to help me fight acne and redness just because it's not as harsh as the salicylic acid. So, so after the serum at nighttime, I prefer to use facial oils. My pores are open in the duration of my sleep so I feel like the ingredients just get sucked in that much better. So my favorite oil to use at night is the Kiehl's Midnight night recovery concentrate when I use this oil at night in conjunction with my serums I feel like I wake up the next day and I just have brand new skin it's also very fancy but I have to have it another oil that I like to use at night is the UFO oil by Sunday Riley this oil has ingredients like tea tree salicylic acid Acid, delicious ingredients to clear acne. If you're not a fan of the smell of tea tree, I don't recommend this oil to you. So if you could get past the smell and you got pimples on your face, this for you. And I'll move on to eye cream. And my favorite eye cream of all, all time, the whole time, all the times, every time, is the Do It All Eye Cream by Pharmacy. I feel like this is the only eye cream that I have ever tried in my life that actually helped me with dark circles. After about two weeks of use, I honestly saw just the biggest difference in the way that my eyes look. They look brighter, more open, like less dark. I recommend this eye cream to everybody. Now I'm gonna present to you guys my Jade Roller. A Jade Roller is a tool that you use. It drains the lymph nodes in your face. Draining the lymph nodes in your face really helps to get rid of toxins, anything, you know, really building up under there that's getting ready to break out into a pimple. Every time that I put oil on my face, I'll just take it like this and roll it out. Not in and out, just out. So I'll start here, roll out, pick it back up, roll out. If you're doing your neck, you want to roll this way. Always when you're done. You want to roll down onto your neck to really drain those lymph nodes. It feels really good. Like, it's like a massage for your face. If I have big breakouts, if I have um, any texture or any uh, blemishes that I've been struggling with for a long time, then I'll go in at night after cleansing, toning, and serum. I'll go in with a acne spot treatment. My favorite acne spot treatment to use is Different Gel. Different gel has been around for a long time. This is actually one of the acne treatments that my dermatologist when I was younger had recommended to me. But now, Different gel is available over the counter. Like you could buy this at Ulta, Amazon, and I love it. If I use it one day, I won't use it the next day. Because it's really powerful, it makes my skin dry and peely, so I don't like to go too overboard with this. Another one of my favorite acne spot treatments is the Clinique Acne Solutions Clinical Clearing Gel. I feel like this really helps get rid of my large breakouts just because it's really strong. And also this formula, when you put it on 
a pimple and you let it dry, it kind of creates like a shield, like a coating over the blemish. It really stays until the next day until you wash it off. So that's why I really like this. And you just need a thin layer to treat your pimple. Like right on contact, you're going to feel it like, huh. So for my daytime skincare routine, I use my Murad Anti-Aging Time Release Acne Cleanser. This one has 0.5 salicylic acid acne treatment in comparison to the 1.5 that the Clarifying Cleanser has. So this one still helps clean my pores and helps me fight acne. For daytime toner, my favorite to use is the Thayer's Witch Hazel Rose Petal Formula. This one I recommend for people with dry skin and it's also gentle enough like my skin is perhaps a little bit red or like a little bit irritated from my acne treatments then I use this in the morning and it helps so much and then in the daytime I'll go in with my niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1% serum because I feel like it helps keep my oils at bay now we're gonna move on to moisturizer very important step for everybody young and old my favorite moisturizer of all time is the Oil Control Mattifier by Murad and it's SPF 15. I feel like this moisturizer actually helps me with my breakouts. It does control my oils. But other moisturizers that I've used that has SPF, I feel like sometimes they put too much SPF and it'll just break me out, make me even more oily and just create pimples. This with SPF, you guys, is after 30. It's just a whole bunch of chemicals that's bad for your skin. So I swear by this moisturizer, it doesn't break me out and it has SPF, you my friend. The moisturizers that I like to wear when I'm wearing makeup, for one, is the Tatcha Water Gel. The reason I love this moisturizer for my makeup is when I put it on, it feels tacky, so I feel like it helps all of the makeup that I put on my face adhere even better and last even longer. Another one of my favorite moisturizers for when I wear makeup is the Glam Glow Volcasmic Matte Glow Moisturizer. I like this one because I feel like it keeps me matte and also really does like create for a luminizing effect. So. I like highlighty, luminizing products underneath my foundation just because I feel like it helps the foundation look healthier, helps it look more like skin. So this is my favorite moisturizer for when I'm needing that look. Last but not least, you guys, let's talk about masks. I love masking. One of my favorite masks is the Therapeutic Sulfur Mask Acne Treatment by Peter Thomas Roth. I put this as a spot treatment on my pimple before I go to sleep. I wake up the next day and it's always, always much smaller in size, if not almost gone completely. And I do feel like I need extra exfoliation. I'll go in with my Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay. This is an exfoliating mask. So directions say that you put a little bit of water on your face. You put this on your face and then you scrub it in for 30 seconds and leave it on for 10 minutes, then rinse off. After I rinse, my skin looks just very nice and clean, pores minimized, my skin feels super soft, it looks very glowy. The only reason that I only use this sometimes, once a week, if not once every two weeks, is because the exfoliating in here is caused by bamboo and macadamia seed which are physical exfoliators. The last mask that I'm gonna show you is the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. With this one, I feel like it really does open my pores and actually clean them after like a full day of makeup. I like to go in with this mask after cleansing. All right guys, and that's it. That's my skincare routine. I'll update it probably maybe like eh, two or three months from now just because I try different stuff all the time. So I promise I'll keep you guys updated. If you try any of these products, please let me know your feedback. I would love to know if any of my recommendations work for you guys. And once again as always thank you so much for watching please don't leave without liking this video and subscribing to my channel because i got lots more videos coming to you thanks so much for watching i love you guys so much i'll see you in the next one